This tutorial comes from a question a viewer asked. The viewer's name was Analyzing Funny. Analyzing Funny says that back in 1985 he had an Apple computer and he had a program that would generate random lotto numbers to help him pick lotto numbers. And um, he asked if there was an application in Linux that does that. I did a quick search of the repos and didn't find anything, but this is a one-liner script that we can write in just a minute or so. So let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to type echo and this will echo out anything we put between these quotations. Inside these quotations we're going to put a variable to generate a random number between 0 and 100. I'm going to say dollar sign square bracket parenthesis dollar sign and in all capitals we're going to type random. This is the system variable that generates a random number, but we want the random number to be between 0 and 100. So by default, it starts at 0 when it's generating a random number. We're going to say percent %100 here, and that will actually just go to 99. It will stop from, it will go from 0 to 99 uh, and not hit 100 because we want two digit numbers. And we're going to put a parenthesis square bracket. And if I was to hit enter at this point, you can see it generated a number 76. If we run it again, it generates another number 66, or another number it says 4. And that is going to be our only issue in this, is that uh, if the number is below 10, it's going to give you a one-digit number. And I think that technically on a lotto number, that it should be 0, 4, not just 4. Uh, and you could fix this with regular expressions, and I really need to study regular expressions a little bit better. But that's... Uh, just a little glitch in this program that we're not going to fix, we're not going to worry about, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go now put a dash, and if I hit enter you see it puts a number in a dash, and I'm just going to quickly highlight this, and if you don't know this in, uh, in Linux, if you highlight something, as soon as you highlight it, it's copied, and you can just center click on your mouse, which is the scroll wheel, and it will paste it. If that's too difficult for you, highlight it, click, say copy, and then we're going to click and say paste. But we're going to do that a few more times. We want six digits, I believe, in a lotto number. I guess it depends on what lotto you're playing. But we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll remove that last little dash. We hit enter. We have a lotto number. Run it again. It generates another random number here. Generate another random number. And we can also start off by saying clear and put a little colon there, or semicolon. Hit enter. And there's our lotto number. There's another lotto number. There's a lot, another lotto number. Now we can obviously, you don't want to type this out each time. So I'll just highlight that. And I'll go into my text editor. I'll just say uh, Vim is my text editor, but use whatever text editor you'd like. And we'll just call it lotto.sh. And I'm going to put our shebang up here, which is just the first line pound exclamation point forward slash bin forward slash bash. This just tells the operating system that this is a bash script. Use bash as the interpreter. We'll paste in the code we wrote just to clean it up a little bit. We'll put clear on a separate line. We will save that and we will change mod plus x to make it executable, the name of our script. And now all we have to do is dot slash the name of our script and it generates a number for us. We'll run that again, run it again, and that is how you generate random lotto numbers. I do not guarantee that you'll ever find a winning lotto number this way, but that is a way that you can do it. And as I said earlier, is that in this case, you see you got a six here, and obviously on a lotto ticket, that would be zero six. And you can fix that with regular expressions, and I just need to get a little bit better with regular expressions to accomplish that. If someone knows how to do that, add that zero if it's below 10, put it in the comments for me. That'd be great, and then I'll be able to come back and show you guys how to do that. Um, I know I've done it before, I just don't know how to do it off the top of my head. But generating random lot numbers, once again, disclaimer, I do not guarantee that these numbers you generate will ever win. But I guess if you generate enough of them, you'll find one that wins eventually, but the chances of you picking just that one on the right day is fairly slim. This tutorial is just for fun. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Oh, and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. It's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description to the site, our forum, and our IRC channel on Freenode. Have a great day.